Today I want to talk about cutting with a table saw and specifically uh, give you some pointers about how to tune your table saw up. Uh, we oftentimes get the question, why doesn't my table saw cut straight? And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some things you can check, some things you can potentially adjust, and some techniques you can use and jigs you can use to make sure that your cuts are straight. So, first of all, what does it mean to do a straight cut? Well, in woodworking, you want surfaces to be flat, you want surfaces to be parallel to one another, and you want corners, generally, to be square. Square means 90 degrees. And so when you do a cut on the table saw, either a rip saw, a rip cut, or a cross cut, you want that cut to be 90 degrees. You want it to be, you want the, the cut to be perpendicular to the table, uh, and you want the, 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 the cut around the corner to be in 90 degrees. And sometimes that's not the case. So let's just talk somewhat in general about how to do that. The first thing you want to do on your table saw is to check that the blade is absolutely perpendicular to the table. And you simply do that with a square. And that square you put up against the blade and make sure that there's no gap between the square and the blade as the square is sitting flat on the table. And as you know, there's an adjustment on your table saw for tilting, actually it's over here, for tilting the blade. And you need to tilt it, you know, micro degrees until you get that perfectly perpendicular. The next thing that you generally use in your uh, groove here is this miter and you want to make sure that this miter is perpendicular to your blade and the way you do that again is to put a square in here and of course you'd want to use a bigger one than this uh, I'll probably have one over here and you put the square on there and you put that against your blade and make sure that there's no gap uh, fore and aft uh, if there is, then you need to adjust this uh, miter gauge so that it's perfect, perfectly at zero, which means that you have a square cut here. Uh, you can also do the same thing with your fence for rip cuts. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that your fence is exactly uh, perpendicular or a 90 degree angle to the surface of the saw, uh, to the tabletop. Um, this is not an easy thing to adjust, but it is adjustable. Uh, and so you need to have that absolutely perfect if you want your rip cuts to give you a square straight cut. Another thing we could talk about in terms of straight cuts is some jigs that you can well, first of all, you can get more extensive miter gauges than the one that we've seen so far. Uh, here is one of those. It's made by uh, Incra, and uh, it's, it's a wider uh, aspect ratio of the miter gauge to the piece of wood so that uh, it gives you better reference and better surface hold to get an absolutely perpendicular cut. Uh, and these things are quite adjustable uh, and also this one allows uh, uh, in one degree increments to change the angle from 90 degrees to another another angle and that's very good for creating the angle that you want if you really want to get perpendicular and it took me years before I actually did this you, you want to build you, you want to consider building yourself a sled for your table saw and this is a sled. Uh, let me lower the blade. It's not designed to have the blade up quite that high. This is a sled, and the sled fits into the miter slots, and it runs along the miter slots because it has a couple of, uh, of runners that are underneath. And 
there are ways uh, to precisely set this so that this is exactly 90 degrees to this curve. So that you don't have to worry about whether you have this miter gauge set to 90 degrees or even this more precise miter gauge set to 90 degrees. This is going to always be 90 degrees because it's within 0 0.005 inches for a 24 inch board. Uh, and you can get that kind of accuracy fairly easily when you construct one of these. It's made out of simple materials. In this case, it's just plywood, a few screws, and a couple of hardwood runners on the bottom. Uh, while we're talking about getting things square, that's uh, perfect 90 degree angles, uh, you may also be interested in making perfect 45 degree angle cuts uh, for various projects like picture frames or doors or whatever. I've constructed this sled for 45 degree angles and you again you can do this very precisely so that you push uh, you, you, you align your boards here or here and push through the blade like that and you'll end up with 45 degree angles and in fact if you use this correctly, even if you happen to be off by uh, some fraction of a degree, if you cut one this on this side and one on that side, as long as this is 90 degrees, uh, you'll end up with a perfect 45 degree fitting, fitting angle. Now there are some other things that can go wrong that can cause you not to have straight cuts. Let's talk about those and uh, we can uh, <coughs> We can then think about how to correct them. One thing that can happen, it's very important that these miter slots, as, as you can appreciate, in order to make a perfect 90 degree cut, it's very important that these miter slots are absolutely parallel to your blade. And the way you test that is to elevate the blade, pick a particular tooth, and then set a square in here and measure where that tooth hits your square, an exact measurement. Then keeping the same tooth, you go back to the back and do the measurement in the back. And we'd have to take this riving knife out of here in order to do that. But if it turns out that your uh, miter gauges are not perfectly parallel to the blade, then what you have to do is you have to reorient the top compared to the blade, and all table saws have a method to do that. On this particular table saw, there's three points where there are uh, fasteners coming up from underneath, and you loosen two of those fasteners, and then with a dead blow, you bump it one way or the other until it's exactly right. The final thing we want to think about is this uh, fence, and the fence, like these uh, miters, um, miter gauge things, must uh, also be perfectly parallel to the blade. And again, you can do that with a measurement process of measuring. Once again, the process for doing that measurement is to measure a particular tooth and its distance from the fence and then you do the same measurement in the back after you've removed this riving knife. So it's very important in woodworking, especially fine woodworking, that you get things uh, parallel and square. And in order to cut straight and parallel and square on a table saw, you have to make sure that you check it from time to time and that you align it to do that. You can align it with aligning uh, the 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 blade to be perpendicular, aligning the fence to be perpendicular to the tabletop, and then aligning these uh, grooves to be exactly the same distance from both the front and the back of the blade. And when you've done that alignment process, you should get uh, quite a bit of uh, usage out of your table saw making square and straight cuts before you have to uh, redo that. So if you like the content of the video, please hit the like button and uh, we suggest that you subscribe so that you can uh, receive notification of future videos.